Hello, my name is John Adelot, and uh, today I'm going to do a channels to layers black and white conversion of uh, the image you see before you on screen. This is the original finished color image, and all I did was copy it and uh, put it over here on one that's labeled as black and white. Uh, it was a paste onto a, a new one here. So mainly I did that because I want to retain the RGB format of it. And I'm going to go over here and I'm going to start here. And I'm going to go to edit, convert to profile, and I want to convert to lab color. And go over here in the channels menu and click on whiteness. Okay. And I go um, control A or command A, depending on whether you're IBM or Mac. And that just selects the, the whole image. And then command control C for copy. And we're going to go over my black and white image here. Go to the layer style. Make sure the top one's selected. And then we go command or control B for paste. And I'm just going to relabel it. Oops. There we go. Lightness. Okay, and I'm going back to my my um, original color image. And I'm going to edit, convert to profile, and I'm converting it back to ProPhoto RGB. And I'm going to select the red channel. And I'm going to look at my channels at this point. Okay. Hmm. Blue, red, green. Red is kind of nice. Blue has a lot of detail in it and it retains the black down. So, okay, and the red has, mm, it's kind of light. The green's uh, kind of neutral. So, anyway, I'm selecting the red to start with. And Command or Control C. Go back over here. Go layer sign and then Commander Control V for pasting. Go back to my original image here in green, Commander Control C, and we'll go over to the black and white image, Commander Control V. Back over here, channel menu again. Get the blue channel, command and control C over here, commander control B. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and the last one I pasted was the blue, green, and then we'll go here to the red. Okay, now I'll go right to the top of the menu and I'm going to turn the blue off and the green off. And that leaves me, um, I just turn the color off too down there. I really don't need it. Okay, so here's the lightness and there's the red. And that kind of darkened a little bit. So I'm just going to go here. And I'm going to darken a little bit more. I'm going to put it multiply. And of course, that's way too dark. So I'm going to bring this back out a little bit. Oh, right in there, somewhere like right that. So that looks pretty good. So all I did was I took the fill slider and just, just brought it down. Okay, now the green channel. I, I'm thinking that I might use that to lighten some areas up. So I'm going to put it in screen for now. Whoops. Command Z, I didn't have it selected. 
Now I'm going to select it. Red is multiply still. And then I'm going to just put this into the screen. Okay. And I'm going to, I'll pull it down some. So it's not much, just a little bit of lightness right now. And I want to kind of block that. So I'm going to put a mask on here. I'm going to push the Alt key, Alt option or Alt key. And I'm going to click on the mask. And that makes a mask that blocks anything that I did there. And just leaves it in black. So I know I've got a little lightning in there. And then I'm going up to the last channel now, which is the blue. And I want to use that to increase my contrast. So I'm going to put that in overlay. And of course, it does a whole bunch of contrast there. And I just want just a little bit more. And I'm going to move it up there about uh, right in there. I think it's pretty good. Okay. Now I'm doing that. I'm a little dark in here. So like that. So I'm just going to go back to my green channel here and to my layer mask, see if I, where that little outline is, it tells you what, what you're working on the mask or the image. I want to be on the mask. I'm going to select my brush. Okay. And right now I'm white, but you can switch between white and black just by pushing the, uh, the X. And I want to kind of lighten in here. I'm going to push Alt Control and click my mouse. Okay. And that I can make my brush larger or smaller. I can make it 100%, 0%. I want a zero and I want it pretty large. Okay. So I want to lighten up here and down in here a little bit. Okay. Maybe over here too. So let's just start right here. And a little bit over here. Okay. And you can see I've done the mask there. And then put it back to original and I bring it up so it's where I want it. And it's uh, right in about uh, right in about there it seems to work pretty good. So the way these layers work is if I want to do something more with any one of these layers, I could copy it. Um, uh, let's say um, I had a sky in my picture. Well, it would be dark in the red layer, so I could m use multiply with the red layer to even darken it up more. So all these layers, you can use them multiple times if you want. Uh, you can uh, uh, you can put different treatments on the layer. You can stack them in any order you want. It's this is an extremely flexible method. You can use masks and work on one little area at a time, and uh, you end up with uh, something nice. Usually, uh, it takes a little bit of practice, but you know, practice makes perfect, or next to perfect. Uh, I don't think we ever get perfect in photography. We got to always keep working and learning more and doing more. I'm going to do a couple of finishing adjustments on this. Right now, I'm on my top layer. Now, I'm going to push Command Option Shift E or Control Alt Shift E and create another layer there, layer two. And this is everything. That combines all the layers up to that point into one layer and right on the top there. And so, call that everything. And I'm going to do this uh, just to, to do a little extra sharpening on the image, okay? So, I'm going to put this image in overlay. Oh, looks like too bad, but I'm going to go to filter and I go other and high pass, okay? Now, I'm going to look at this, and you can watch right here, and you can see when you get kind of a gnarly edge on things. I'm about 2.2 there. I'm going to hit OK. And then I'm going to back it off and bring it up. And you can see where it starts to get real sharp. About right in here. And like there. I don't want to go any further than there. And that's about 36%. Okay. 
And then one final thing that I like to do in my images is I like to give a little edge burn, keep the eye in, and then sometimes I like to change the lighting or, or with a little accent. We can do that all in one layer. So I'm going to make a uh, blank layer now. And we're going to take that layer and we'll put it in overlay. And I'm going to, I got my brush selected, but I'm going to push X to change it to black right here. And, uh, and uh, now I'm going to push uh, Option Control, and I'm going to make it large, and that's on a, on a, and zero, zero sharpness. On an, on an IBM com computer, you play Alt, Control, and, uh, and then right click to do it. And on the Mac, just uh, Option, Alt, and Control, and uh, click. And I'm just going to, I uh, don't freak out, it's going to be a little black here. I'm going to start up in this corner, just go around the edge, and I just want the edge of the brush on there, okay? And it's obviously too dark, but it was done all in one stroke, and that's the important thing, not to re-click or anything. And you do fade, fade, fade brush tool. And just pull it back and then dial in what you want. I just want a little light edge burn. 18% seems to be pretty good. I'm going to hit OK. Now I'm going to change my brush to a white. So I just push X and I'm going to resize again. This time I'm going to bring it down a little smaller. Okay, what I want to do is I want to lighten in through here. And so I'm just going to go, I want the eye to kind of travel up here. So I just go like this, okay? And uh, and then I'll go edit, fade uh, brush tool. And we'll bring that all the way down. And then we'll bring it up so we have just a little path of light flowing all the way up there. Right there. And that does it. Hit OK. And now I have my finished image. A very simple process. And uh, so I hope you'll enjoy it. I was uh, working on this image today, and it really lent itself very simply to doing this, uh, this process. I did try it in, uh, in Google Nick, uh, Silver FX Pro, and, and it just didn't come out the way I wanted it. So I went back to my old tried and true method here. And uh, as you can see, it's very, very flexible. So anyway, thank you, and I uh, hope this helps somebody. Bye-bye.